Hi guys, today on Diva Skin Cook, we are making Passover Her Roasted. It is so good and easy to make. If you've never had Her Roasted, it's usually served at a Passover Seder and it's really good. I eat it year round. We're going to start by just peeling our apples. I'm using a Granny Smith apple and some Gala apples just because I like that tart sweet combination, you know. Alright, now we're just going to slice this up into little itty bitty little pieces okay some people like their um harosa to be like a paste but i like mine nice and chunky nice and chunky so go ahead and just dice that up and if you've never had this before and you're wondering what the heck does it taste like it kind of reminds me of those raw vegan apple pie dips at trader joe's or earth fair you ever had those before they're really good but yeah it's really sweet really good all right now i'm going to add in some chopped walnuts just go ahead and pour that right on in there okay now we're just going to stir it up all right, and now we're gonna add in some honey, some raw honey I got from the farmer's market. Go ahead and just drizzle that on over those apples and walnuts, yummy. Okay, add a little bit more and then just stir it on up. And you can certainly eat this year round. I eat it year round. I make me some um, cinnamon sugar homemade tortilla chips. Oh my gosh, it tastes just like apple pie. Go well, kind of. All right, now we're gonna add in some manischewitz. Any kind of kosher sweet wine will do. All right, so go ahead and add in that wine and stir it up. And there's Isaac, he loves to help. He takes over all of my recipes. Okay, now we're gonna add in some cinnamon because you cannot go wrong with apples and cinnamon. So go ahead and stir that cinnamon in there. Okay, now if you're on a diet, this can make a really healthy appetizer or snack. So go ahead and make it. You can leave out the brown sugar if you want to, but we're gonna add a little bit of brown sugar just to sweeten it up, just a tad. It's already pretty sweet, so go easy on that brown sugar. Then we're going to add in a dash of nutmeg and a dash of clove, all right? And then we are pretty much done. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. I hope that you will make it. You do not have to be Jewish to enjoy this amazing dish, okay? Get this recipe at DemonSkinCook.com. Bye, guys.